Teak, what's happening, buddy? All's good, man. You know, sometimes when you start a uh, a season and you see a guy come out, he just plays in a certain way that just makes you feel like, man, I'm glad we have that guy. The Yankees should feel that way about Aaron Judge. But there's also guys like Ronald Acuna, who the Braves felt really good about, and they paid him. Fernando Tatis, San Diego uh, Padres, they paid him, right? You talk about a guy, Mike Trout, you know he's great, you pay him. Ja Morant for the Grizzlies, you know he's going to be great. They haven't paid him yet. He'll get the rookie max extension, and they'll overpay him. Same thing with Jamar Chase, who was the rookie of the year for the Minnesota Vikings. Micah Parsons for the Dallas Cowboys. All these guys, you recognize the greatness right away. Aaron Judge had greatness right away. He was rookie of the year. He was second in the MVP. He went through the whole process of arbitration and and gotten being underpaid for six, seven years. And the Yankees had an opportunity to 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 wrap him up and do him right. Really, actually overpay for Aaron Judge, and they didn't do it because of what BT his age. He's too old to be to overpay. Let's we'll give him a fair deal, right? Why? When you have a superstar, when you have a guy who walks off the Toronto Blue Jays in such convincing and unbelievable fashion, it was Jordan Romano. Let me get him with these sliders, throwing 84 miles an hour. Slider, slider, slider in the dirt. Fastball, he fouls it off. Slider, slider out of the ballpark. When you have a guy like that, you overpay him. And the reason you overpay him, because right now, BT, the, the Yankees have to be worried and sweating just a little bit. He's going into free agency when this season's over. He sounded okay after the game. Yeah, I like doing this in front of this crowd. It's a subdued way of doing things. I like doing things in front of the in front of this crowd. Great. Didn't really say I want to be here forever. The Angels have a hundred. Oh, now are you going to measure his right. cadence? Are you going to measure his yes, cadence now? I am. Okay, Because I think he's pissed off. He got okay. undercut in his arbitration. Give me 21. No, we're going to pay you 17. Yeah, we're going to stick at seven. Why? Why underpay a guy like Aaron Judge? Because he's going to hit free agency. And I had to look this up because I was curious. Just curious. I know the Dodgers have a big payroll. They always have big payrolls because they have money, Guggenheim money. They can spend it, right? It is what it is. Uh, next year, you know what their payroll is? Without Trevor Bauer, $120 million. Okay, so they're looking to restock. Uh, they don't have a lot on their payroll is my point. So they got $100-plus million to spend. The Los Angeles Angels, who forever have felt like, I don't know, a laughing stock pitching staff of Major League Baseball. You have an MVP in Mike Trout, Shoei Otani, a two-way star, comes in. Guess how much money they have? They're finally winning. 21 wins, tied for most in Major League Baseball. $119 million I mean, paid. Well. lefty home runs on the side of the plate I'm these days. I'm just telling Rendon. you, BT, Aaron Judge is from the West Coast. Yeah. There are a couple teams out on the West Coast that are getting good, that are good and now getting good mm-hmm. and maybe want to spend money on a guy like Aaron Judge, who's now a free agency. The, the the Yankees had a choice. They chose to kick it down, kick the can down the road. But for Aaron Judge, he's the type of guy you should have overpaid. And honestly, BT, they might need to just say, hey, Aaron Judge, we're going to overpay you right now. But now so now, right so now. now we're going now. Going now, right so now. now. Now they pick up the bat phone, and now out of sheer desperation, right. they beg not desperation. judges' represent. Not de- desperation, BT. Well, if, well, but then why would you do it? Because, because if you're not desperate, you, be, you the be, fear that he might leave and go somewhere else. Because he's your superstar. Because you're supposed to overpay guys like Aaron Judge. You just do. Tom Brady's getting paid $375 million for 10 years. But he doesn't something. get it. Oh, you're talking about the, the, the broadcasting for, for, for something he's never done before. Why? But broadcasters Why? get better Why? when Why? they age. Why? Because he's a superstar. Yeah. He's a superstar. Yeah, exactly. Tony Romo. Nobody knew that he was going to be good at what he does for CBS Sports and calling football games. They overpaid him because they know that he's going to be but great at it. But they overpaid him for an aspect where you get better with age. You didn't give Tom Brady a 10-year contract. Yeah, yeah, well, Do you always get better with age? Well, I don't I think Troy Aikman's gotten booth. better with I age. Mean, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I know what you're saying. I know you know, I mean, for the most part, you do. You become a little more... Yes. Polished, uh, a little more uh, in tune with the business, no. whereas you know your 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 motor skills physically yes. are your less reliant the apple on those. That's, what, the, that's what I'm saying. I don't want the apple orange uh, conversation. Yeah, okay, okay, fair enough. So, so what are we doing right now? So, Brian Cashman. If I'm Brian Cashman, I'm picking right up now. my phone, calling Aaron Judge's agent, and say, "Hey, let's let's. I know he doesn't want to talk about this, but let's talk about." But this here's right the now. problem: it's not Cashman's call. It's Hal. Well, okay. So then Hal should be forget banging Hal. down. Forget Hal. You can't or, 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 forget Hal. Forget Cashman. Forget Cashman. Hal, right. you pick up the damn phone and you call Aaron Judge's agent and say, 
We might not want to talk about this right now, but we're going to overpay you. Why? Because we should. We're supposed to, and we should have done it before our bad. Aaron Judge is the type of player you overpay, and we see it in every sport. You know a superstar when he walks into the locker room. You know a superstar when he steps on the field and delivers, like Aaron Judge delivered in the clutch last night. You know it. We've seen it from day one with Aaron Judge. And for whatever reason, they let it slide. They made a mistake. They need to correct this as soon as they possibly can. All right. So, the interesting. Uh, Teak is re- perhaps Don't give me the age thing. Don't give me the age thing. Well, I mean, that's part of the equation. That's the only reason he doesn't have the contract Don't yet. give me the age thing. If he was 27, this thing would have been flushed through. You know would it. it? Would it have? Yes. Yes, I believe. Every name that you gave me. Now, I don't disagree First of all, he's going nowhere, and I've said that for a minute one. I don't care if it's you know in, d- during the World Series. Know, if it's dur- he's going to be a Yankee. Know, he's going man. nowhere. And if that happens, you're going to have one very ornery partner and one very pissed off Yankee Wait, fan didn't, base. Didn't you say you wouldn't be a Yankee? Was that that one? You well, I did. Well, yes, I said. Well, hold on. I, well, <laughs> yes, the, the context there. Yeah, I did. I did. I said. Oh, is that to the Mets? Yes, if if he walks to the Mets, that's right. That's if what he said. goes to the Mets, that's what you said. Then I've got to abandon. Not that I would become a Mets fan, but I've got to abandon my Yankee. Like <laughs> if the Yankees disrespected him and the Mets swooped in, that would that would be the end game here. So let me. So I want to make sure I have this right here. How? All right. So by the way, it was a great at bat last night. As you alluded to. There, most of those pitches were down. Mm-hmm. The one that he fouled off to the right side, I think that was a fastball. That, was, a fast ball. that was the right. only fastball that Jordan Romano threw. He laid off on the 0-2 pitch, that little, I guess that would have been a slider in the dirt, yep. 84-85, whatever it was. Uh, and he started to, oh, yeah, yes, he did. He started to, <laughs> oh, you're like, ooh, that's a tough one to lay off. And then, you know, a couple of fouls. Great, great, great at bat. Great, great, great win. Here's what I love your energy. Yeah. I appreciate your point. Just don't give me the age. Give me something I'm not, else. I'm, pro- I'm, I'm going to give you something else. Okay, go ahead. The calendar, which <laughs> actually leads to age indirectly, but <laughs> okay. not in the not in the sense like a calendar, how many years have we been on this or months and uh-huh. years on this earth? The calendar is still incredibly in favor of the Yankees. It's not even May 15th okay, yet. Okay, until he, he walks. Has an, I won't give you the age. I will give you the injury history. It's a real thing. But I love Judge. I think he's staying. It's May 15th. It's not even May 15th. I just, I, I, look, the injury converse side of this, I get why people say it, but I think it's, I think it's overblown. I really do. To me, those feel freakish. And being an athlete, I know what a freakish injury is, and, and I know what an injury that's going to hamper somebody for a significant amount of time. Judge shows no ill effects from any of his injuries. It's not like he tore an ACL. And he's, oh, he's got a little bit of a hitch, and his you see it a little bit in his knee. You see, yeah, he's got, a, yeah, that thing's going to come back. And he has none of that. Mm-hmm. Yes, he's had injuries, but it's nothing that's so debilitating that it's going to affect him for the next five or six years. Now you got to get constructive with this contract, right? Overpay him for the first five or six years, you know, or five years, and then. Peter it out at the back end. So maybe he's chasing something. Put some incentives if he has milestones that he's going after. There's ways to do this. But I stand by what I said, BT. And when I, I ripped through all those guys in baseball and basketball and football. You know a guy you're supposed to overpay. Aaron Judge is one of those guys. Okay. All right. Nothing nebulous about this guy's point today. 877-337-6666. It's a good take, Teak. We're inside of our Town Fair Tire Studio. Our friends at Town Fair remind you that... At Town Fair, you always get the guaranteed lowest price on name brand tires from Connecticut to Maine. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Turning point at 1040. Yankee tickets 1125. We bounce at 1155. Day game. Yankees right back to it. And now we start talking to you on this Wednesday on the fan. Chris is up in the Bronx. What's happening, Chris? What's up, boys? Great to talk to you today. But, Teak, what kind of way is that to start off the show, man? Almost like a little negativity runs for all the players that, you know, have been paid. You got to enjoy this night last night. It was unbelievable. Yankees down 3 nothing late in the game. Looks like it's a little flat. Boom, Stanton breathes life right back into them. That's right. Then they drill Donaldson, gets us all jacked up. <laughs> then they go down again, and it looks like, ah, it's going to be one of those nights. And then Judge just crushing it. I mean, it's got to be a little charged up. Teacher started I am so charged good, up man. because of what Aaron Judge did. I know Stanton was, you know, hit the home run that got him back into it. Judge was on base, by the way, so he scored. But I, I get it. But that my biggest takeaway from last night is why in the hell would you not have paid Aaron Judge and why would you continue not to want to pay Aaron Judge? I get the fair offer thing. I really do. Fair offers go to guys who are just barely on the fringe of being a, an elite player. Aaron Judge is an elite player. 
you overpay it for a guy like Aaron Jones. And by the way, when Donaldson was drilled, that was that. I mean, that really was a joke that Garcia was bounced there. I, that with no warning gets the thumb. And it's funny because in my mind, I was like, "Yeah, toss him," but I'm like, "Wait a second, that's the Mets." Right, you know what I mean? It's the exact <laughs> opposite. Mets have not been protected by baseball. That's right. The Mets have been treated unfairly. But in my mind, Buck got suspended nine minutes before right. the game for defending his guys. That's right. And um, I can understand why the Met fan. I know that you're watching your win, which, by the way, was a great win. But I can see why the Met fan sees that on the highlights. It's like, whoa, this is not consistent yeah. with what the hell's been yeah. happening to us. Yeah, maybe MLB sent a memo saying New York as opposed to specifically on the Mets. If someone throws at the New York teams, toss them. Yeah, we got to protect Mets. their assets for Apple Plus. <laughs> Uh, let's get Greg in Rahway. And Greg is on the Fantique in Tierney. Greg, what's going on? Uh, good morning, guys. Hey. Uh, I just thought the thing with Judge, I think I would have went a different way with the contract. Uh, I think I would have gave him a shorter time, like three years, and like pay him $55 million That's what a BT year. said. B- BT said the same thing when we, before we even the season started. I said that over the winter. Give him four years and $200 million. Yep. $40 million a year, whatever it may yeah. be. Let him opt out That's at the end. That's you save him money anyway. That's right. And you get him in his prime. And by the yeah, way, he'll, 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 he'll appreciate it. it. I think he'll, he'll appreciate having to earn it. Absolutely yeah. right. That's what they should have done. They didn't. And now we got to see if they're going to You hear Greg in the back. <laughs> oh, man, that was really, that was the kind of win. Now, the Mets have had a few of these wins this yeah. year. Obviously, Philly, but, when they stormed back from seven last night, was the kind of win. Yeah. You know, you're down three zip. By the way, Hicks was horrendous oh my God. in left field. Horrendous. I still don't know how he didn't catch that ball at the fence in the second. I don't know how he didn't catch <clears throat> well, it. Well, you know what? I got to be honest with you. That bothers me less. That bothers me. Don't yes. get me wrong. That bothers me far less than when it's a 3-3 game in the top of the eighth and Guriel laces the double, not quite down the line, but obviously to left field, and Hicks is shaded over towards center field. There's yeah. one out, Vladdy's on first, and, you know, Vlad's hoofing it. Give him credit. He was banging it through. the. He was cutting the corners. That was textbook base yeah. running by Vlad. I love, but how, I love how Vlad plays. I do, too. I, you got to love the exuberance. You have to respect it. But how in the world, in a 3-3 game, is Hicks going 75% when he's one of the fastest guys Look, on the team? I, I, he was a loaf and I can understand ball. why, because you see that sometimes. Like, they want to be cautious running to the to the ball that's going to hit in a corner because they don't know how it's going to ricochet. It wasn't in the corner. I, it I was, hear you. It was about 20 feet. If I'm looking at I know third base, you, I know what you mean. it was 20 feet to the right of the foul pole. Yeah. And had no possibility of banging off with that wacky bounce. Yeah, no, you're, you're right. But I at some points, I, I see guys do that, and I understand it. Oh, you I hated that. That really bothered me. You mentioned this earlier in the in this season, BT, about how the Mets were going to win close games. I didn't realize this until Dove sent me these uh, game notes. And because the, the type of, the, it's so small, I can't even see well, this. Well, then dude. you read it because so I can't re- see it. I had to put on my glasses to read this. But this game, this is the 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 Yankees have won a ton of close games this year. Uh, in fact, where was it? Where was the stat that I saw? Um, they beat the Blue Jays. Uh, this is twenty two of their twenty nine games this year are decided by three runs or fewer. Twenty two out oh, twenty two out of every game they played? Yes. Okay. So twenty two gotcha. of their games have been decided by three runs or fewer. All right. Tied with Atlanta and Toronto for the second most in the majors. It's funny because we thought, you know, the, the Yankees were his team that would when they were bludgeoning bad teams, they would destroy them. Mm-hmm. Right? But they they actually haven't done that. Even the game it was that- the narrative that we had for the Mets. Right, they're going to hustle their way to tight wins, which they do. Which they do. But Another the Yankees, tight one last night. The Yankees have also are also playing that way. Well, listen, that, there's no doubt. I did not know it was quite that prominent. I in didn't terms either. Of the tight I games. read this note. I hadn't seen that stat, but that is, uh, you would imagine, that's a nice foreshadow of their season because the Yankees bullpen's very good. Yep. The Yankees catch the baseball better. Although I don't know how that was not scored an error on Torres. In the that would have been the the bottom of the second. second yeah. All right. So let me say this real quick, and I want to get back to these calls. So. Well, I'm watching this live, and Mayor Adams is in the booth, and Yes has done this for a long time. SNY has done this. I get it. No issue with it, obviously. Uh, but Severino scuffling, and the defense is not helping him at all. Yep, Tor- and- error, non-scored error by Torres included in that. It was hit hard, and I said to you this morning, maybe a little top spin. you got to make that play, no doubt. Hicks, the same thing. And they were talking about some really important things, empowering youth and poverty and COVID, but it was too long. It was too long, and it was about too much nonsense. Not the things that I just mentioned. Those things are really great. But, you know, going out at night, and I'm going to give you my number. We're going to hang out. Cameron Mabin. Dude, I'm trying to watch the Yankees and the Blue Jays. Can I get a little baseball here? And Luis Severino was struggling. Can I get a little baseball? Luis Severino struggling, and you're not even mentioning it. 
<laughs> You're right. Not an ounce of analysis. I know. And by the way, I don't blame Kay on that. No. I mean, because, you know, Mayor Adams has, and you know him, he's got this very effervescent presence that lights up the room no and doubt. kind of takes over room. And he wants to talk. And you put him in a booth. I don't begrudge him for wanting to talk because they put him there to talk. Right. But it was just too long. I was like, I need a little baseball analysis Yeah, here. they should have saved him to come bit. on our show. Mayor <laughs> Iredis, come on our show. We'll talk to you for a half an hour. Yeah, but if he starts talking too much about the <laughs> night stuff, I'm going to hang up on him. <laughs> Erickson Clifton, though, was he going clubbing at 2 in the morning? I don't it know. looks like he might be. With that suit he wore to the Met Gala, maybe. Hey, they might let him in in some of those. Erickson Clifton, what's up, Eric? How are you today? Good morning, boys. Doing what's up? well. Hope you guys are the same. Yes. Making the week go quick as always. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, uh, man. I have what's a up? Multiple, multiple choice uh, question for Tiki Barber. Go ahead. Ooh, he's a good answers, student. Two, I... an two answers. Can I use uh, should I use a number two pencil here? <laughs> I'm going back to Scantron right when I can cheat. <laughs> the Scantron. Christmas tree. It. Just yeah. got a Christmas tree. It. All right, yeah. go ahead. First answer is Aaron Judge. Second answer is your partner, Brandon Tierney. Okay. And the question okay. is <laughs> What the hell is the question? Interesting. <laughs> Next year, who is gonna look better in a Mets ninety nine uniform? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's definitely A, Aaron Judge, uh, because there's no chance in hell BT is wearing a Mets no, uniform. Yeah, 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 I can. He wanted I to go. He you wanted to go hang out with the with the seven line. Well, I got to tell you, hold on. <laughs> as a quick, quick. There's actually a picture somewhere in my household of me in a Mets jersey. Really? There is because that's when my dad. Okay, was, I'm, 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 I'm just gonna tell you why. You gotta find it and bring it. No, that'll never happen. I'll Dude, find it and I'll get rid of it. You were like two. No, no, I was like sixteen. Oh, okay. no, but the the, the reason <laughs> wow. no, I'll tell you. Go ahead. My dad was going to those fantasy baseball. So you know, my dad's a Mets fan. Yeah. So we'd go yes. to the Mets camps. Yes. The Dream Week. Yes. And they'd give him full uniform. Okay. And then he wound up playing in an over forty baseball. This is a true story. Over forty baseball league with a bunch of guys who could play. I was 16, and I was a decent player, and they, they were a man short, and they actually let me play, oh, and to play, out. I had to wear the Mets uniform. Oh, nice. So everybody piped down. Blackmail. Go ahead, Go ahead <laughs> Eric. I, 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 I was going to say, the beauty of that story is he's really just front-running that story getting out and somebody blackmailing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Don't damage That's control. That's that. right. Last, oh, go ahead, Go ahead, well, Eric. What's your other question? Well, no, just, well, just, well, no, no, just, well, other, other well, what's his size? multiple what, choice. What's his size? Because, what, what's, what's Tierney's size? Because I'll send the uniform over for him. Uh, um, a uh, uh, suit is 44 <laughs> long, X, long arms. Yeah, yeah, I mean, usually XL, he not does more than XL. that. He doesn't so, like medium. So, no, no, no risk, that's not good the for the love handles. The risk is definitely there, though. I agree with Keith. The, the risk is definitely there because, like you said, I mean, the longer the season goes on, and if he just continues to crush it, yep. I mean, he's going to be holding all the cards. And to your point, I mean, you, this isn't about Cashman. This is going to be about the owner. And I mean, right. if it was, you know, if George was still alive, God bless his soul, I mean, this would have been done already. He, you know, he always had a, a, you know, a knack of overpaying for guys. And it just seems like, you know, you know, Stevie Cohen's taking that mantle from New York. I mean, I, I just, there's no doubt in my mind that, that Steve Cohen is, is licking his chops at just having the opportunity to steal the Yankees crown's goal. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think even though just, he, even though he did, even though he said he wouldn't do it. That's not happening. Even there's though he no said he wouldn't do it. He but, would do it. I mean, he, he's not, he's, first of all, Judge is not going there. And, and nah. don't even waste time on that. If, he's not Ju going if the Judge Mets. leaves the Yankees going out to the Angels or the Dodgers. By the way, wasn't Turk Wendell number 99 for the Mets? Is that the number he it was, yes, right? Yes, he was 99. How in the hell do you recall that? Because like, I know everything, dude. Like, seriously. When are you going to understand this? I know everything. I know that, but Turk Except Wendell? important stuff I don't know. 877-337-6666. Tiki and Tierney on the fan. Tiki saying, bleep you, pay me, and pay me now. Wow. Should the Yankees... Acquiesce. Should the Yankees bend now? We'll get more into that. Your call is coming up on the fan.